Hi, and welcome back to Kids Connection. We are so glad to have you. I'm going to read you a book. I'm Cerise Maddock that's really very famous in the book world for kids. You might have had a teacher read it. You might have brought it home from the library. Maybe your parents or somebody else got it for you for a present. It's called Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. And it's by Bill Martin Jr. and John Arkambeau. It's illustrated by Lois Elert. And if you know a little bit about the alphabet, this book teaches you even more in a really, really fun way. And it's lots of fun to read with lots of fun pictures. There's the inside. That's the whole alphabet. And you know, by the end of the book, we're going to have said every single letter forward, backwards, up, down, and all over. All right, this is that title page, Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. There's the authors and the illustrators. With my four kids when they were little, we always liked to read the author's name and the illustrator. And you know what else we always read? We always wanted to see what year the book was written. This book was written in 1989, which was a long time ago, but the author and the illustrator put it out for kids all the way back then. Chicka chicka boom boom. All right, here we go. A told B and B told C, I'll meet you up at the top of the coconut tree. You guys know what coconuts are, right? They grow round and they're not really that color. They're usually brown, but this book shows them red because it's full of lots of good colors. A, B, and C so far. We said D to E, F, and G. I'll beat you up to the top of the coconut tree. Chicka chicka boom boom. Will there be enough room? Here comes H up the coconut tree. Now look at all of these letters are heading the way up to the top of the tree. There's a lot more left. I wonder if they're going to make it. And I and J and tag along K all on their way up the coconut tree. So far, so good. Do you think there's going to be more following? Is there more letters in this alphabet? I think so. Chicka chicka boom boom. Will there be enough room? Look who's coming. L, M, N, O, and P. Okay, look, we have a whole group coming. You see it? K, J, I, L, M, N, O, P. And wait a minute, we're not done yet. Q, R, S. Look at them go. Q, R, S. And T, U, N, V. Look at how many colors there are on that. It's so pretty. And by the way, have you noticed these polka dots along here? These polka dots are kind of the shape of the coconuts, aren't they? Oh, wait a minute. Look, what's starting to happen to this tree? It's bending a little bit, isn't it? Do you think there's getting too many letters up there? Still more. And W, X, Y, and Z. That kind of sounds like a lot, doesn't it? W's on its way up. X is right there. Y's all the way over here on the other side, but it's going. And then there's Z. Z sounds like the end, doesn't it? The whole alphabet up the 
Oh no! Chicka chicka boom boom. I think we've got the whole alphabet. It was too much for that coconut tree. Look at all those letters. They fell out of the coconut tree. If you could imagine a bunch of friends climbing a tree that wasn't very strong, if you had 26 friends climb up a tree and you were too heavy, you might all fall down. I hope none of these letters have hurt themselves. What do you think? I think they'll be okay? I think maybe they will. Let's see. Skit, scat, scoodle doot. Flip, flop, flee. Everybody running to the coconut tree. Mamas and papas and uncles and aunts hug their little dears, then dust their pants. Do you think that's what would happen if you fell out of a tree? Would people come running to see how you were doing? I'll bet you anything that's what would happen. Or if nobody was around, you'd probably get up and dust your own pants. I bet you would. Help us up, cried A, B, and C. All right, we got A, B, and C yelling for help. What do you think about all these other letters? And I don't know, this coconut tree looks pretty bent over. I'm feeling kind of sad for the coconut tree. I don't know. We'll see if the coconut tree is gonna make it. Next from the pile up, Skinned knee D. Is that a little band-aid, you think? On skinned knee D? And stubbed toe E. Oh yeah, that kind of looks like a big stub toe. And patched up F. Well, there's a band-aid right there. Then comes G. Oh, out of breath. It's hard work falling out of a tree and getting back up, isn't it? Okay, now look. Look at our coconut tree. It doesn't look quite as bent, does it? Okay, see it here? Starting to lift a little. Back on the page before, it was completely over to the side. See that? Now over here, uh, I see it lifting up. It's getting a little stronger. And I wonder maybe if the coconut tree not only wasn't heavy enough to hold all the letters, but maybe the coconut tree is a little bit sad that all the letters fell and is just wanting to be down close to them to make sure they're okay. You could be, you never know. H is tangled up with I, J, and K are about to cry. Now I see a tear about to cry or cry. Either way, it's fine. L, look at this. L is knotted like a tie. If you see it, it just sort of looks like a tie. L has really got itself in trouble, huh? Then here we have all the other letters. You can pick them out, I bet. There's a T and an O. Oh, wow, here's a big M. What do you think's gonna happen to them? Well, let's see. Oh my goodness. M is looped. N is stooped. O is twisted alley-oop. Oh, I forgot to pay attention to the tree. All right, let's look again. See, it's standing more, a little bit higher, a little bit straighter. Okay, let's go back there. Yeah, it was getting higher. Let's go back to where, oh, let's just look at the tree on these pages. I'm sorry to go backwards, but I like to look at transitions like this. When all the letters were on it, it was all the way to the side. And then it was lifting up a little because the letters were getting, are getting back on their feet. And now look at that. This was the last page we saw where J and K were kind of starting to cry. H and I, L nodded like a tie. 
Now it's looking pretty straight. You're starting to see all the leaves again. We saw M was looped, N was stooped, O was kind of like alley-oop, skit, scat, scoodle, doot, flip, flop, flee. Look who's coming. It's Black Eyed P. There's Q, R, S, and loose tooth T. You see that loose tooth down there? And you know what? Tooth, tooth starts with T. Makes sense, doesn't it? And now look at this tree. It's all the way back, standing straight up with the leaves. And I see some more letters over here. What would you guess is gonna to happen to those letters? Are they gonna just stay there? Or are they gonna join the other ones? I have a pretty good idea. How about you? But of course, we'll turn the page to find out. Then U, V, and W, jiggle free. And last to come, X, Y, Z. X, Y, Z. And the sun goes down on the coconut tree. That's the end of that alphabet. You've heard that, right? These are the last to come. U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. And the sun goes down on the coconut tree. But, chicka chicka boom boom, look, there's a full moon. Full moon means it must be nighttime. Yeah, if you were reading this at night, you might be getting ready to about go to sleep, huh? A is out of bed, and this is what he said. Dare, double dare, you can't catch me. I'll beat you to the top of the coconut tree. Chicka, chicka, boom, boom. And that's the end. That's the last page in that book and look it shows you all of the alphabet again this one has a library card in it we'll go to the front and let's just go through that alphabet while we're at it okay think of all of these letters they went up that coconut tree the coconut tree fell down all of the letters got unbobbled up chicka chicka boom boom right and then I think they're gonna start again. Let's look what they're gonna be. And you know what, these, these, are, these letters, I'm gonna to point to each of them. You've got a capital letter and a small letter. If you haven't learned that yet, you probably will. There's A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Do you remember them going up the coconut tree? I kind of do. If you don't remember, just imagine them going up that coconut tree. It might be starting to bend. H, I, J, K, L. I remember L, when L was getting back out of falling off. L was the one that maybe had a skin knee. I'm not sure. I could be wrong. M. N, O, P, Q, R, S, T. I remember for sure when T was coming back, T was the one with the loose tooth. Then we're coming towards the end of that alphabet. U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. We got to read Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. I love this book. I hope you liked it too. Again, I'm Cerise Maddock. You've been kind of getting used to watching this Kids Connection. If not, you got to see this story. You'll be able to see it again, and we love bringing this to you. You make sure to watch more. <laughs>